Greetings, fellow mathematicians, and welcome back to the Art of Integration. In this video, we're going to evaluate our first definite integral using Weierstrass substitution. Some of the first few steps are the same. We're going to start by replacing sine of x with the conversion in terms of t down below here. So that'll be straightforward. We'll replace dx with its conversion down below as well to t. And the only new part is we're going to have to convert the limits 0 and pi to new limits for t. To do this, all we're going to do is plug in our limits x equals 0 and x equals pi into our Weierstrass substitution, which is t equals tangent of x over 2. Let's do the easy one first, plugging in x as 0. So if we do that to our Weierstrass substitution, we're going to get tangent of 0 which you all know is zero. If we try to do the same thing with x equals pi, we run into a problem. Your Weierstrass substitution is t equals tangent of x over two, plug in x equals to pi, and you'll find that tangent of pi over two is undefined. Think of tangent as sine divided by cosine, recall your basic values for sine and cosine of pi over two, and cosine of pi over two is zero. So that gives us tangent of pi over two, being undefined. Instead of plugging in x equals pi, we're going to think about what happens to tangent of theta as theta, the angle, approaches pi over 2. Now as the angle approaches pi over 2, we're basically within the first quadrant. Sine and cosine are positive within the first quadrant, positive for angles between 0 and pi over 2. We know cosine of pi over 2 is 0, and that means your denominator up here thinking of tangent as sine divided by cosine, that's going to basically become zero, which means your fraction there is going to grow infinitely large. Since we're in quadrant one, both sine and cosine are positive. We find that tangent of theta, that should approach positive infinity. So that's going to be our upper limit here. When x approaches pi, tangent of x over two approaches positive infinity. So our original limits for x, 0 to pi, convert now with the Weierstrass substitution to limits from 0 to positive infinity. The other way to see this is to think of the graph of tangent of x. As x approaches pi over 2, you can see that the graph, due to the vertical asymptotes, that's going to lead to tangent of x approaching positive infinity. That's another way to do the conversion there for your original x limit, pi, converting to the new limit for t with the Weierstrass substitution going to positive infinity. We're now ready to convert everything using the Weierstrass substitution. So what we just worked on most recently is that our original integral with limits 0 to pi now converts to a t integral with limits from 0 to positive infinity. We know how to replace sine of x. That becomes 2t divided by 1 plus t squared. And we do that in both the numerator and denominator. All right, and don't forget to also replace dx. That gets replaced with just 2 divided by 1 plus t squared dt. And from here, it's a matter of simplifying that rational expression for t, because you always get a rational function here that you're going to end up integrating with using the Weierstrass substitution. And then for evaluating that integral, it comes down to a partial fraction decomposition. So let's go ahead and get to all that work. Let's start by distributing that factor 1 plus t squared into the denominator. We'll get a cancellation of 1 plus t squared there. Our integral still goes from 0 to infinity. We have in the numerator here, still 2t divided by 1 plus t squared, but distributing in that denominator, you'll get 1 plus t squared. But now the cancellation occurs, and you'll be left with plus 2t for that other term. And you still have 2 dt there. Now with a little bit of algebraic manipulation, you can simplify this all to a simple fraction, getting rid of the fractions within fractions. You'll have your integral still going from 0 to infinity. But now that factor of 2 
you can multiply that up to there. You'll get in this numerator for our rational function 4t. And then in the denominator, a factor of t squared plus 1. And then another factor of t squared plus 2t plus 1. And if you notice, you can rewrite that other factor in the denominator as a perfect square. So we get as our simplified rational function 4t divided by t squared plus 1 times t plus 1 squared. And at this point, it's just a matter of going through a straightforward partial fraction decomposition. I have the end result for the partial fraction decomposition here. With a little bit of algebra, you should be able to find that a equals 0, b equals 2, c equals 0, and d equals negative 2. If we plug in the values for a, b, c, and d, we get the integral now going from 0 to infinity. But now we have two fractions left over. We have 2 divided by t squared plus 1. And then minus 2 divided by t plus 1 squared. At this point, the two antiderivatives should be really straightforward. The first one is going to become 2 times inverse tangent of t. And just be careful with your signs for that second integral. This will come out to be positive 2 divided by t plus 1. And we're going to evaluate that from t equals 0. And because the upper limit is infinity, we're not going to be plugging in t equals infinity. But rather, we'll take a limit as t approaches infinity for that evaluation. Be careful with the evaluation as t approaches infinity. The inverse tangent function, that's going to approach pi over 2. The simplest way to see that is to use the graph of inverse tangent down there, which has a horizontal asymptote. As x goes to infinity, that horizontal asymptote is pi over 2. Now, we just need to simplify. You can cancel out those factors of 2, and you're left with for the value of your integral as pi minus 2. So there we go. We get our integral from 0 to pi of sine of x divided by 1 plus sine of x. That evaluates to pi minus 2. Hope you enjoyed this video and our ongoing series, The Art of Integration. We're all about creative ways to evaluate integrals. Here, this was with Weierstrass substitution. If you enjoyed the content, support the channel, like and subscribe.